Y cross, H cross, slot cross, whatever you want to call it, um, has been a staple in the air raid ever since it came to the Power Five. So originally it was the go-to big play generator for this offense, but as the years progressed, it became much more of a mid-range concept, a change-up concept. Now, um, though still very important, it was definitely uh, shoved down the script. So um, still definitely one among, among its favorite pass patterns, but um, mesh, all verts, um, much more featured in 2020. So it's a weak side flood. We're trying to overload one side of the defensive coverage to um, obviously we want to get this cross. And if they over pursue, we have a, a dig alley. So it looks like Ole Miss in this 3-3-5 three, three, defense is doing some form of inverted Tampa 2. So um, cover 2 zone normally. You'll, and you have uh, four rushers, but in this instance, we are using one rusher to become an extra coverage man. So um, using three underneath people like you would get in Tampa 2, but you're sending your middle linebacker all the way back, so he's already just a pre-aligned safety back. So you'll have your bump and run, three deep with three underneath. But because of that, it, it does hinder our under over cross you can even see when i play it it's not the cleanest rep and our two um routes are cross combo they kind of run into each other so um it's just not a really good clean look but you know what when it generates um an explosive gain i'm gonna draw it up so clock winding down before half we want to try and get some points before halftime and this explosive gain tries to help us do that so only rushing three Again, you'll see our little underneath defenders with 3D and 3 there. So it's a piss poor job from this line with basically five, six blockers and only three rushers. And they basically um, force a very muddled pocket. But you can see Rodgers is locked in on his crosser. Gets there, and since our Tampa 2 guy bails back, there's just enough space for us to catch in front of him. And that's where we do. And then from there, we're just breaking some tackles and, and making plays in space. So um, you can see why it has big play potential, but it has to rely on a lot of yak stuff. And as the air raid has progressed, Mike Leach is just more prone to, all right, let's just throw 15, 18 yards downfield and get five yards after the catch and get an explosive game that way. But, again, this weak side flood is seeing um, a lot of success in a lot of different schemes. And for the air raid, half of them found success.